Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> there it is. The new Kettle Joe. I'm super excited about it. And the, the weird thing is normally I study grills before I get them. I want to know everything about them before they even arrive. And then they come out of the box and I kind of already know what's coming. But now I, I don't know anything about this barbecue. I haven't studied it. The only thing that I know is that it's a lot cheaper than a ceramic grill and it's red. <laughs> so I'm going in super, super blind. And of course, Kamado Joe sponsored this video and they gave us this grill. So what we're going to do is take this thing out of the box, set it up, light it up and take a good look at it. What is it and what does it do? And study it and share my thoughts with you. First, let's get this out. Maybe, just maybe they put it. What's this? It's probably the lid. It's big, man. It's really, really big. Just look at the size of this. Whoa, that is heavy. That's heavy. Why is it so heavy? Ah, Jesus. <laughs> I thought it was a kettle grill and it was going to be super light. It's definitely not super light. I must admit, I don't, I do not pump irons. This is not, this is all steak. Side trays, more boxes, side trays, legs. Super sturdy legs. Where's the manual? They're trusting me to put the thing together without a manual. It's probably somewhere here. I didn't have the box upside down, did I? Ah, the guide to Kamado Joe cooking. Hey, it, comes in. it comes in Dutch. That's perfect, man. First page I open. Unbox your grill. Your grill uitpakken. Open the koepel van the grill. It's going to be a lot of work, Marcin. No. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's seven pages. Seven pages of uh, of work. That's more than we ever did in school. Step one. Remove screws from the base. You don't need them anymore. What? Misschien wel het beste product wat ze dan niet hebben gemaakt. This thing is awesome. Look at how sturdy this is. Like, if you wanted to, and you shake it, like, let's lock it. Look at this. I'm pushing as hard as I can. This thing is not wobbly or whatever. I think this is the first category on the market that's not wobbly. If I put two briskets on this, like, Proper briskets, seven kilogram briskets, 15 kilogram. This thing could take like 60 kilograms. Morrison, I bet you, you can sit on this one. We'll wait till we have another one. So we're like a backup version. This beauty is put together and man, is this impressive. Now all we need to do is, well, put the rest of the stuff on. And this is the exciting part of putting it together because like, let's be honest, putting this thing together like it's not it's not super exciting except for the fact that it's so well built and it's so impressive i never enjoy the process of putting together a barbecue because you never get to use any power pools no angle grinders no no chainsaws but now that we're doing this look at that perfect fit man it looks so good and so sleek now goes in the basket yeah the basket goes in and look, look at this. Look at how thick this is. There's not one kettle grill in the world that has a charcoal base that's so thick. It's crazy. Sitting down. Nice. This is well thought through. This has got these little edges here where they sit the basket on. But look at them, they're ceramic coated. So it's well thought through and they put it in so it can damage. It can start rusting, it's not added on. These are the things that matter. This, 
This is what's going to make the grill last longer. And then we get the ceramic, and this is what I'm curious about, because I knew there was some ceramic in this kettle grill, and that's what I think is going to set this kettle grill apart from any other kettle grill. So I'm going to put these in. Oh, and that's so easy. Remember, if you got to put these in in the Kamado Joe, it's seriously, like, let's be honest, it's a little bit of finicky. You got to put in some work, and it might take, like, somewhere between five to 10 minutes. But putting it in like this, too easy, too easy. Even Morrison can do it. And all the Kamado fanboys out there know what I'm talking about. Grill grates in. Now we're getting to the part we can, where we can start go grilling, man. Woo, look at it. Look at that fire engine red. It is really, it looks really awesome. But the material is so thick. The steel that they use is so thick. It just blows my mind. It's just, I'm now starting to wonder how much does this thing even cost? Because I, I have no idea. We have to check the price later on because this is gonna be one expensive grill. And if it's gonna be expensive, I don't care, you know, it's totally worth it already. It can be cheap. It can be. How does this work? Nice. Feels good. Do you feel that? You hear it? Which kettle grill has side tables? And most of the time you have to buy a cart with it. But this is already on this thing. A completely new. Just wondering, how does this work? Do I have to push it in? <gasps> Wow, that is cool. This is not a kettle grill. And I now know it. It's not a kettle grill. Kettle Joe. <laughs> I see you, Kamado Joe. This is definitely not a kettle grill. This is like a ceramic grill, trying to pretend it's not a ceramic grill. That's what this is. I see people doing things and I immediately know that's like, that's my thing. And now we got this slow roller thing, which is basically a plate and this thing. How does it even come out of the box? And then, how do we put it in here? Oh, come. You have to, you have to go around, Morrison, because we gotta, now, now, we gotta do the thing. During the assembly, we saw that you could lift this up. So basically, we unscrew the back, then we pull this pin here, like the grenades, and then we open it up and lift it up. There is a position where now I can put the ring in. But first I think I gotta take the grill grates out. Grill grates out. Ring in. Slow roller plate in. Oh, nice. They got little lips for positioning. Grill grates back in. Let's see if the lid closes. Yes, nice. Loosen it up a little bit and then screw it again. Perfect connection. Nice. See, it's not a kettle grill. Can you imagine the possibilities that you have? By lifting the lid, so many accessories can go in here. Like a pizza insert, rotisseries. You can have anything in here. This is like a full size, full on ceramic grill that's not a ceramic grill. All right, we all been asking the same question. I think people at home as well. What, what's this weird thing? This what's is, going on This here? is the slow roller, man. This is like the slow roller that makes like a parabolic vortex of smoke to yeah. smoke your meat to perfection. Like it goes like And then poof, you have the, the magical things going okay, on. Is it, okay, but uh, I'm just I'm going I'm just going to put out the, the obvious questions. Slow rolling, so it's a smoker. With this setup, it's a smoker. Yeah. Like this, it's just a barbecue. So it's a smoker, it's a ceramic grill, it's a kettle grill. So it's a hybrid. You can do, like the things that you can it's do It's a good with thing, this. it's a good thing. But Set hybrid is not a good thing. Like if you have a hybrid car, that's yeah. like a... Okay, 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 wait. That's a bad thing. Do you know, you've seen the, the movie Alien, right? With no. the scary monster? No. Yeah, you've seen it. No, seriously, you I haven't. I know there's like a thing coming out, okay. but that's the... Okay, it's, <laughs> it's a really scary monster. It's a hybrid. They created it, it's a super killer. It's a super killer. I think this is a super killer, but I don't know what you're talking about. It's definitely a super lightweight for a ceramic grill, but definitely super heavy for a kettle grill. You don't hear any noises. No. 
How's that even possible? That's My car makes more noise than this. It's smooth, it's simple, it's, it's sturdy. And uh, Kamado, if you send another one, we're gonna <laughs> test what we can do with it, like kicking against yeah. it. So we should actually say like, dude, what are you thinking? Sending us one. Yeah, there why two one? of us. You got great wheels. You got the adjustable hinge on the back. You can you can rotate it and lift it up and then it just goes up. You got this a beautiful smooth. top vent. You got the, the exact same bottom vent as on the ceramic barbecues. This thing, I predict it's gonna work well. We gotta figure it out still because we're getting excited about this, but can, we can haven't I? cooked on it yet. Yeah, before, for, before we're cooking it, I wanna test this. I want to see what it does, like how this works. So you just take this off. W what first? Pull the pin. Pull the pin, then? Yeah. This one open? Yeah. I'm pulling it. Pull. Yeah. yeah. And now it's a kettle. Like yeah, but now you see, it's like a little bit wee wee wee. Yeah. And then we pull the pin again, just like, you can adjust it the way and you want now, it. Now, yeah, you, you hear it. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, you hear that sound sad. and now it's like, and they're just gonna screw it on again. Like and it's not wobbly at all, it just closes perfectly. And you got the spring hinges in the back, which is awesome as well. Then you got the ceramic tiles. Yeah. And that's what the great thing about this is, because normally if you would have a barbecue like this, wind's coming in, cold wind, and it would influence like the temperature inside your grill. But now it won't, because you got that ceramic inside that's going to protect it, and it's going to Dude, uh -oh. the thunderstorm is coming. Thunderstorm is coming. We expected the thunderstorm. Now we have it. And finally it's here. We gotta move, we, we're gonna move. Yeah, we, yeah. We gotta move. Okay. Move it! But, All right. We forgot one thing. Yeah, one thing that, well, I haven't forgotten. I just, the rain came. Yeah, the rain, the rain. It's, it's a not, situation. Yes. I love this thing. Yeah. That's like, we have to say, that, like, of course it's sponsored, we don't have to say, but we have to say, but like, you get the point. I'm super excited to cook on this grill, but there's one thing, even though this like is a sponsored video, it's like there's one thing we need to show the people that I don't like. There is a plate here. It has like a safety warning thing, like, but it's big, it's huge, it's half the grill. And then there's like this floppy bit on the side. What's that, why? Why is that even on there? And uh, they, they probably, well, I'm gonna defend them. In this case, they have to put it on, but I get your point as well. It's it's a bit much. If you have a Ferrari, you don't put like a big panel in front of the hood that says don't, yeah. don't drive this yeah. into a wall. Yeah. But now comes an interesting part. You and I, we didn't know anything about this barbecue no. before we got it. Of course, we saw some pictures, but we don't also know what the price is. Yeah. So maybe we should guess first. Okay. What would you pay for this barbecue? I think it's about $700. I think we're getting close to eight, 900 euros. I think eight, 900 euros, like eight and a half, 900, maybe even 900, 900. Come on. Okay, just say, I'll give you the number, you're always... 875. Okay, look it up. All right. Oh. Yeah? No way. Yeah? No way. Tell me. You're a bit high. Okay, that's a good thing. That's a good thing, but what is the price? It's like, you have to seriously adjust. 500. 595 euros. This is surprisingly cheap. It's a really good thing. And this I think that a lot of, a lot of other cool. barbecues are in big trouble. I want to start it up, Marcel. I, really I think you should start it up. Also, I want to see like within the next two weeks, I want to see a good cook. I want to see a low and slow. I want to see a high temperature one. Let's agree that we're going to make a review in like two to three months from now. And we've done steak. Yeah. We've done ribs. And we done like a long cook, like brisket or pulled pork yeah. on this. Yeah, and then we're gonna make one big review because you can't just make one recipe on it and say, hey, no, this is no, what no. I think about. Now this thing can do so many things. Maybe you even need to make burgers on this or like a pie or whatever. Sure. So I wanna get some charcoal in. And what I'm gonna do is we're going to light this up, burn it up and make sure that we get plenty of heat because I wanna burn off any residues from the factory, any oils, because you got machining, tooling going on in that factory and all that dirt, we don't want that in our barbecue. So that's why I'm going to light it up. And now I'm going to let my brand spanking new Kamada Joe, Kettle Joe come up to temperature. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time because we're gonna be using this baby a lot.